Yeah. Well, I went up the road. Um, this is, uh, oh God, San Leonardo Lakes. Uh, but I just drove an hour to get here and it's clouding up. I don't know. Um, yeah, this could be a snotty road wet. So I think I'm just gonna go up here and check it out. There's a 50% chance of rain today. Could be bad. Very bad. I, I gotta at least look at it. Yeah, if it rains, this is gonna be a horrible rain. Just wanna see how far it goes. Okay, that's all you get for now. Well, I found the trailhead. Uh, it doesn't look bad here, but the clouds are starting to roll in. Man, this road would suck if you got stuck up here with a monsoon. Boy, you'd be stuck up here. This is the trailhead. Trail number 30. Well, I definitely like the looks of it. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it looks great that way. But man, down there, not so great. Skyways. 50% chance of rain. But it wasn't supposed to be until after three. But I'm gonna be smart and not do it. There it goes. Okay, I'm going back down. I'm going back down. Yeah, old age sucks, man. But gotta be smart about shit. It's not a horrible road, but it would be if it rained and there's a chance of rain. Now I really need to do this hike with somebody. If I can find somebody to go with me. Supposedly the hike is only three and a half miles. One way. So about seven miles round trip. And now Plus, it's so far away from everything. Um, there are people down at the bottom here. But the bottom is uh, probably a mile and a half. But, you know, if you twisted an ankle, you'd be screwed. You don't really need four wheel drive. But if it gets wet, you would. You definitely need high clearance. I'm trying to trying to do this and drive. The camera in one hand, sorry about the key noise. And this is the drive. Okay, that's all you get for now. Still going down. Update. It's beautiful up there. Definitely four wheel drive country. Hang on, hang on. Oh man, my screw is popping in my hip. Mm -mm -mm. Feels so good. I know you wouldn't hear that. Okay. Well, pay attention here. Here, look out the window. Wide drive. Huh, you don't want anybody to come up the hill on you. Oh, I already been up this hill. Okay, that's all you get for now. This is what it still looks like. A little humpty bumpty. Somewhere along here I seen a dog off the leash. Had a leash on, I should say. And no people behind him. Okay, that's all you get. Later. There's entirely way too many people out here. Look at this. Looks like Walmart. What the hell? This is just crazy. Do I even want to hike here? There's so many people out here. I 
I don't mind one or two, but geez, okay, I am not doing that trail. I bet there's got to be at least 50 people on it. No, thank you, please. I will pass. Well, this is just turning out to be a drive. Unless I come up with something else. There's people camping, hiking. All kinds of people. Anyway, I got to find a trailhead and I got to see the road. The road's not horrible. It's just not a road you want to be on if it rains. At all. Looks like most people just hike up from the campground. But I think it's um Sorry about the noise. About a mile and a half hike up to the trail. And it's not an easy hike because it's up all uphill. The beautiful water. I gotta do something. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. Crossing. Okay, that's all you got. Bam, 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 bam. You can see there's people all over in here too. Okay. Okay. Now one thing about hiking, what I like about hiking is just being alone. But uh, back there, when there's 50 people out on the trail, you don't know how many people are in the cars. You know, there could be more than 50 people. You know, it's... There's too many people. It's good to know that somebody's out there, but I really don't want to see but maybe a couple of people. I don't want to see that many. And that's why I like to hike. I like to be alone. Just me and beautiful trees. That's my excuse anyway, believe it or not. I've been doing this for five, six years now. So you learn some things, you know, why you do it. Why you do it, when's a good time to go, and when's not a good time to go. Um, just be careful. When you're alone, you gotta be extra, extra, extra careful. Because, of, well, back there you wouldn't be alone because there's 50 people out there. But oh, a lot of my trails that I hike, you know, I, there's times I don't see anybody. So you got to be smart about it. You know, when you're three to five miles out on a trail and, you know, there's no cars in sight when you pull up and nobody in sight, you know, if you go down, you just, you're down. There's nobody there to save you. And there's definitely no cell signal. Now right here on this road, uh, when me and Evelyn got stuck on it, fortunately we, we were able to get a cell signal and I think I'm pretty close to the spot we were. But yeah, I need to really find me somebody that can go hiking and like to ride up and down bouncy roads. But it's, it's, it's hard to find somebody, you know, that you you can hike with. They're either too slow or too fast or um, don't want to do the trail you want to do, don't want to go when you want to go. Um, it's hard to coordinate. Here's a car. Truck, sorry. Yeah, the very, very busy road. I passed a couple of campers going back there. And there's very few places to camp, too. Especially if you're pulling a camper. If you have a tent, you have options. Well, anyway, it's just my tail advi trail advisory. I thought I'd seen a bear, but I think it was a tree. 
Could have been a bear. Looked like a baby cub, but... We're going down, down, down. Okay. A lot of driving for nothing, but... You know, I'd rather, I'd rather be safe than not. Never, never really been stuck out in the, in the wilderness by myself. You know, if I had food with me and, and a sleeping bag, it wouldn't be so bad. But okay, got it. Got to go. Starting to get into houses, so that means back to back to people again. Okay, I'm looking at where I was earlier today. Um, I'm at home. Um, that's what it looks like over there. This is why I didn't do the, the five hour hike. And I think maybe the storm might be kind of missing us on that way. It looks like it might be hitting over there. So anyway, that's why I chose not to go up there. Um, well, I went up there, but I didn't do the hike. Yeah, it's just the road is definitely an off-road, dirt road. So when it gets wet, it's gonna be slimy. Okay, so you get.